Vauxhall Zafira Fires, calls for a national vehicle fire database. Vauxhall is calling for the government to set up a national vehicle fire database to better alert manufacturers of potential safety issues. Following the Zafira B fire scandal, Vauxhall has called for the government to establish a national vehicle fire database to better alert manufacturers to potential safety issues. Speaking before the Transport Select Committee, Vauxhall representatives asked the government to help manufacturers gain access to vehicle fire information held by insurers. With a national database, the company said manufacturers could quickly notice whether there is a risk of fire related to specific models. At the moment, manufacturers have limited information on how widespread a fire risk is, as vehicle fires are often diagnosed by insurers and not the manufacturers. The Association of British Insurers has said it supports the proposal in principle. Vauxhall also proposed incorporating a check on outstanding safety recalls into the MOT process, after it informed the committee that 55,000 Zafira B models out of the 234,938 affected have yet to have their second, and final recall fix carried out. This is despite Vauxhall sending owners up to seven letters informing them of the safety recall. Used Zafira B models sold by second-hand dealers without fire recall. A BBC Radio 4 report has also revealed that a number of used Vauxhall Zafira cars are being sold by second-hand dealers before the remedial work has been completed. The second round of recalls for Vauxhall Zafira B models, designed to prevent the problem that has seen a number of the cars catch fire, began in August 2016. Auto Express estimates the cost to General Motors related to the Zafira fires recall issue to be around £40 million, but now the BBC report has revealed there is already one example of a fire in a Vauxhall Zafira bought from a second-hand dealer after the recall was announced. The investigation, conducted by Radio 4 reporter John Douglas, cites the case of Gemma Douglas from Ebb's fleet who purchased a Zafira from Big Cars Ltd. of Chelmsford, Essex. Gemma bought the Zafira six weeks after the safety recall was first launched by Vauxhall and the car dealer involved had not returned the car to Vauxhall for the required remedial work. The people carrier then caught fire when parked outside a shop, just minutes after Gemma had been driving it with her children on board. The dealer told us nothing, the fireman told us the car was up for a recall. I would have never put my children in that car had I known. Big Cars LTD claims that an independent report said the fire was caused by a fuel leakage, and that the car was bought from a motorability scheme who had also failed to check for the recall. Tim Milson, lead officer for the motor trade at the Trading Standards Institute, claims that it is the responsibility of all in the supply chain to check for recalls before selling a car on. He cites the Sale of Goods Act that says a vehicle's needs to be of satisfactory quality, and the Road Traffic Act Section 75 that states no person shall supply a motor vehicle in unroadworthy condition. Zafira Fires, Second Recall Required to Fix Further Issues Vauxhall's Customer Experience Director Peter Hope and GM Senior Chief Charles J. Klein confirmed details of a second recall at a special hearing in front of the Transport Select Committee in July. Addressing committee MPS, Hope said, our focus is on getting the safety recall completed. We don't have current plans for inconvenience and worry. We will address further steps after the recall is complete. We have the first recorded case in a Zafira B that can be clearly attributed to the heating and ventilation fire that we are talking about here on the February 11, 2009. We are truly sorry and I apologize for customers who have been inconvenienced. The new fix, originally announced in May, aims to improve the overall robustness of the system by replacing the current soldered fuse resistor with a wax fuse resistor, reducing the opportunity for manipulation. All owners will be contacted with work scheduled to begin from the first week of August. With the estimate cost of around £40 million, a Vauxhall spokesman said, 
Money is never any issue these days with General Motors as far as safety is concerned however, the firm also said all resources were focused on addressing the issue and there would be no compensation for owners. Like the first recall, owners will see all work conducted free of charge, and when the recalls are complete, all vehicles will have a new wax fuse resistor, a new blower motor and a new molding at the base of the windscreen to address water ingress problems. How did the original recall start? In 2015, Zafira owners began reporting problems with the heating and ventilation system in the Zafira B models, on sale from 2009 to 2014, while the London Fire Brigade said it has extinguished 71 such fires, not including arson attacks, since 2013, compared to just 38 in the previous four years. Concerned owners started their own Facebook page and brought the problem to the attention of the BBC Watchdog program. Vauxhall immediately initiated an inspection and rework program, contacting owners of the 234,938 affected cars which was swiftly upgraded to a full safety recall, with the Driver Vehicle Standards Agency, DVSA, helping to ensure no potentially affected cars slip through the net. What is causing the Vauxhall Zafira fires? The DVSA has now agreed with Vauxhall's root cause investigations, which have identified the cause of fires to have been faulty repairs of a thermal fuse in a resistor that forms part of the heating and ventilation system of cars with air conditioning or with no air conditioning cars with climate control are not affected. In the first recall Vauxhall replaced the thermal fuse in affected cars, while also replacing the cabin pollen filter and checking for a hole in the windscreen surround that might have been caused by the refitting of a windscreen and could let water into the system, causing corrosion to the fan. Corrosion of the blower unit, or wear and tear through use, is the most likely fault, which should trigger the safe activation of the thermal fuse. Vauxhall's inspections have involved random checks of 1,000 cars, of which 2.6% have been found to have badly repaired fuses. The fuse is designed to deactivate the system in event of a fault, to prevent overheating. However, Auto Express was given exclusive access to some of the unauthorized repairs where the fuse has been bypassed through highly dangerous, yet ingenious means including using copper wire to reconnect the fuse terminals, holding it together with a crocodile clip or even screwing it back in place. Healthy fuses use a metal spring that is held in place by a special copper-free solder, designed to release the spring and break the circuit if the temperature reaches 184 degrees Celsius. A replacement unit would cost less than 30 pounds, but some repairers have made their own attempts to reconnect the system, including using normal plumbing or electrical solder, which means the fuse won't break at the required temperature. That can lead to unwanted high temperatures which can cause a fire in the system, with the investigations and correct repair method now being approved by the DVSA. Vauxhall Chairman Rory Harvey told Auto Express, We want all Vauxhall owners to be safe in their cars, safety is paramount to us at Vauxhall. We recognize that some of these cars could be on their third, fourth, or even fifth owners and they may have vehicles which have been improperly repaired without their knowledge or before they bought the vehicle. That's why we wanted to instigate the safety recall. Vauxhall advised owners of affected cars who are aware of repairs being carried out to the heating and ventilation system or with a currently faulty system to only use their fans on the fourth speed to demist the windows, which uses a different fuse system to the first three fan speed. After replacing the blower motor, Vauxhall's 400-strong dealer network will now begin to work on replacing the current soldered fuse resistor with a wax fuse resistor to make sure no improper repairs are made to the system again. How Facebook Raised the Zafira Fires Issue Worried Mum Sue Fremantle, from Ivy Bridge, Devon, Claire Wheatley, from Plymouth, and Jade Helluel, from Preston, Lanks, joined forces to start a Facebook campaign to bring the Zafira fires issue to light when their Vauxhall Zafira models unexpectedly caught fire with children and pets inside. The group garnered the support of more than 3,000 members, 
with several other owners claiming on the page that their MPVS went up in flames, too. Owners reported that thick, black smoke had filled the cabin through the dashboard with many having children or pets on board at the time. Some drivers had purchased their car just days before it ignited and gutted the interior. Sue told Auto Express, I started the group to raise awareness about these car fires after Vauxhall essentially washed their hands of my plight. I'm gobsmacked by how many others have been through what my family have had to endure. She added that the group has been set up not to gain compensation but in order to save lives in the future. Following complaints Vauxhall launched its internal investigation and that led to the recall. A spokesman said, while the number of incidents is very low in proportion to the number of vehicles on the road, we take this issue very seriously and will take further action. The safety of our customers is the number one priority. Our investigations have found that a number of incidents have occurred due to previous repairs being performed improperly or using certain non-genuine parts. Owners are advised to contact their Vauxhall dealer if they notice any unusual characteristics with the heating and ventilation system, for example a squeaking noise from the dashboard. Dealers have been told to arrange inspections free of charge.